Hey, this is David with Froggy Fly, the creator of the multi page auto advance for gravity forms. Uh, multi page auto advance for gravity forms allows you to create more of a conversational form. You can apply one or a couple uh, questions or fields to a page of a form and have multiple pages, and it will auto advance to the next page automatically without you having to click the next button or something like that. So, I'm going to jump into this to show you how it works. Uh, in the back end, and then we'll do it on the front end to show you what the results are. And uh, super easy to set up, and it applies more of a, a conversational experience for people filling out the forms on your website for Gravity Forms. All right, so I've already got a uh, form created here with all the different fields that it works with. Um, the multi-page basic version does not work with the product fields. The pro version works with product fields and allows you to apply conditional logic so that if you don't want to advance the page, if they select uh, you know, a certain entry, then it will show that next field and not advance automatically. And I'll show you how that works as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click on our first field option here and just show you where these uh, settings live. So once you click on a field and it's got to be uh, radio buttons, check uh, radio buttons, drop downs, things like that, quizzes, polls, that kind of stuff. We'll go into the advanced option and the settings for that field. And you'll see right here, there's an auto advance portion. And it gives you the option to auto advance form page when item is selected. And that's because I have, uh, I have some conditional logic set up. I've got the uh, hide next button option and then the hide previous button. All right. So we'll show you how this uh, how this works. Actually, let me go to the first field here. All right. So the first one gives you the hide next button. When you go to the second page, you obviously have an option now for hide previous button. So if I want to turn off the next button, then I'll just select uh, hide next. If I want to auto advance the form page when the item is selected, then I check the box. It's that simple. Okay, what this looks like on the front end, if I select an option, it's going to take me to the next page. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning. All right. Let me just turn off this conditional logic I turned on earlier when I was playing with it. and save that. Okay, so it works with your radio fields, your quiz fields, does not work with your text input fields, works with polls, drop downs, quizzes, and products. Products again, once again, is only going to work with your uh, pro version of multi-page. On the last page of the form, you have an option to uh, go ahead and auto complete, auto complete the uh, the form. You can also hide the submit button as well. And let's just save that, and we'll go through the live form. Go ahead and refresh this. All right, so I'll just make selections here. This is a poll field, drop downs. This is a non auto advance and an auto advance on the same page. Another non auto advance and the product. And then our last page, this is step seven of seven. I'm going to go ahead and select an option and you'll see the uh, submit button is actually hidden here. So I'm going to select an option and it will auto complete. And that's it. So now I'll show you real quick for the multi page pro option. 
I'm just going to duplicate my first uh, field that I have here, and I'm going to set it up so that this only shows up if there is conditional logic. I'm going to make sure I'm yeah, at the top here. All right. So we're going to set our conditional logic. We're going to show this if it is the first choice. All right, and save that. So now what it will do, I'm going to turn the conditional logic off on this one. What it's going to do now is if I select this first one, it will show this field without uh, completing and going to the next page. Once I select a field here, then it will go to the next page. So let's refresh the form one more time. So I select the first choice, it shows my second option here, and then I'll make my selections from there. And then we go through the rest of the form. So that is only with the pro version, as well as your product fields. Everything else that you see here, the polls, quizzes, uh, drop downs, uh, your basic radio buttons, that is all included with the basic version, which you can get at the repository right here at the Auto Advanced for Gravity Forms. Uh, plug in. All right. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to write us at support at frogeatfly.com. Uh, if you have any uh, issues or any conflicts, we'd love to know so that we can get those fixed and get uh, make sure that this particular plugin is uh, compatible with everything that's out there. I know there's a wide range of, uh, of builders that are being used right now. So we try to keep up with those and make sure that we're, we're staying compatible with all the, the major, uh, the major site builders like Elementor and Beaver Builder. All right. Thanks for watching.